Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on color blending. Now, color blending is super important for your watercolor practice because you need to know how certain colors mix with each other, and exploring that can be really beneficial to your skill level. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a really simple watercolor um, color chart. So you'll need a ruler, and what we're going to do is we are going to what we're going to do is create little squares. I like to do actually I'm going to work in centimeters. I like to make mine two centimeters by two centimeters, and you're going to need five of them. And I like to put a little space between just because <laughs> I'm I have an organized brain, so I like to do things really perfectly, but you don't have to do it this way. You can totally just swatch it if you want, but I'm, I'm going to make this little outline and it's going to be five, square t five squares total. And I'm going to leave just a half of centimeter space in between them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna speed this up really quick. I'm laughing because I told you guys I have an organized brain, but really my brain is like chaos, but I'm a Virgo, so I like organization. I don't like chaos, so that's why I like to do the squares. Also, I think that they just look neat. Now, this is really simple. We're just gonna start um, here, but you could expand this. You could even make these um, more of them. So what we're gonna do is this one, we're gonna start with 100% of a color, and this one is going to be 100% of a different color. And I'll show you how we're gonna mix those. So I'm gonna grab two paint colors. The two paint colors I wanna work with today are going to be Scarlet Lake, oops, <laughs> Scarlet Lake and Opera Rose. And what I like to do is I like to label it because this can be a good reference guide for you to go back to. This is super helpful if you're trying to get exact colors. And it's kind of just, a really fun practice. So Opera Rose, I'm going to grab some of that and you want this square to be super saturated. It will be your most saturated Opera Rose. Should almost be the texture of butter. And then I just come in here and I paint along this little square. And um, I just did Pilates, so my hand's like shaking a little bit <laughs> because I'm so tired from Pilates. And then you just want to mix it in. Sometimes you need a little water to help you out there. Okay, we have our really saturated opera rose. Now we're going to move over to our Scarlet Lake. And I'm doing it this way just to demonstrate how we're going to mix the colors. This is our most saturated. Grab a little bit of water. Now we have our two 100% saturation. I usually like to put 100% just so I know. And what we want is we want this square to be 50-50. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 75% of the Scarlet Lake. So I'll just abbreviate here and then 25% of Opera Rose. So just come over to your palette. Um, mine's a little messy, which is typical. <laughs> and I'm gonna grab what I think is about 75% of the Scarlet Lake, and then 25% of the Opera Rose. And then just come in here, and I can already see I need a little more Opera Rose. And sometimes adding a little more water helps you to see the color variation a little bit more. As you can see, this does look a little more pink. Okay, great. Now we're going to do the opposite. So we are going to do 75% Opera Rose, 50% Scarlet, oops, sorry, 25% Scarlet Lake. I don't have an eraser on this pencil. So grab that Opera Rose. And it, you can grab about 75% and then just a little bit of the red. And as you can see, this is almost looking more magenta now. Okay. 
It's not as hot pink as that one is. Now we're gonna go 50-50. So get 50% of your opera rose, 50% of your scarlet red, scarlet lake, sorry. And that goes right in the middle. So you'll see what exactly 50-50. Now this would be helpful, say you were painting a rose and it was this color, but you wanted to have some variation in it. This is a great way to see what that variation would look like. This also works really well with greens. Um, if you're doing leaves or you're painting scenery, so you can test out that. I'm actually gonna do one more. I'm gonna do green, just because I'm gonna do green and yellow, because I want you guys to see more variation. This variation is really light because they're both really warm toned colors and you know, they're, they're different, but they're not super different. So let's do a green one. I'm going to make those little squares again. Okay. Now change out your watercolors because this is going to affect the green. So I'm going to change these out really quick so that we can have fresh water and our colors are the truest version of themselves. All right, now we're gonna work with some greens and a yellow. Um, I have hooker's green. <laughs> I don't know why they call it hooker's green, but that's what it is. <laughs> and then I'm going to use lemon yellow deep. And we have 100% here, 100% here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and write all these down right now. 25%, uh, this is say Y for yellow. And then this is gonna be 70% yellow and 25% hookers green. And then this is 50-50. And like I said before, you guys can expand this even more. So you could go by smaller increments, say 10% um, or adding like 20%, 30%, 40%. Grabbing that hooker's green, and we want it to be pretty saturated. My palette is a bit dry, so I'm just bringing that in here. And I think this is hooker's green, but I honestly I can't remember. I should be better about labeling my palette, but I'm just not because I just go by sight. But this is green. <laughs> okay, so we have a green here. And we're gonna rinse off our brush, and we're gonna take from our clean water we're gonna get that yellow lemon deep. My yellow is a little has a little green in it, so I'm gonna try to get that out of there. And then we're gonna have this really bright, vibrant green. Sorry, yellow. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring a lot of yellow here, and I'm just going to grab a little bit of that green. So 25% versus 75%. And you can see this is a really yellowy green. Now I'm gonna work in the opposite way. I'm gonna get that green. I'm gonna do 75% of it and 25% of the yellow. So it's just slightly light lightening it, but not by that much. And then we're going to do 50-50. So I'm just gonna come into this center area. And this is actually, I really like this color. This is almost similar to staff green. So you can see what the 50-50 looks like. So as you can see from these two examples, the red, we don't, the red and pink, we don't see the variation quite as um, dramatically, but then with the green and the yellow, we definitely do. This is a great practice. I really encourage you guys to do this. It's also fun and kind of meditative, but it'll also really help you when you start, if you want to up level your watercolor, I really recommend Go, going into color theory like this and looking at how colors blend and what colors you can make. 